People used to fill up their cars there, but now they're filling up their stomachs. An old gas station in Mount Lebanon has been transformed into a restaurant that is attracting a lot of attention. Yeah, I got to go sample their crowd favorite. I'll tell you, it's very good, and there is definitely a reason why it is the crowd favorite. Now, this couple has taken food that intrigues them from around the world and really made it their own. <laughs> The food at Fairlane is unique yet approachable. Husband and wife chef team Graham Foster and Lauren Zanardelli opened the place after meeting in culinary school and running food trucks in both South Carolina and Portland, Oregon. Which is cool in Portland. Oh man, you can't you can't make me answer that question. Pittsburgh. <laughs> Good answer. Pittsburgh. Yeah. No, Pittsburgh really is. Uh, this is such a more comfortable place. Graham's from South Carolina. Lauren grew up in Bethel Park, but it's their travels that have inspired a lot of their menu. It's sort of full of dishes or kind of like riffs on dishes of things mm -hmm. that we've had and we've loved. And not to say that we have like the most exquisite taste or everybody should like what we like, but we think that, you know, the kind of food that we like, other people can appreciate. So we're going to make the umami brussels. Graham's cooking up one of those dishes. It's based on a Japanese working class dish with savory pancakes, but they make it their own by using fried Brussels sprouts instead. We're deep Brussels frying sprouts? Brussels sprouts. Yeah. Oh, Brussels yes, sprouts. and then we're building the rest of the dish on top of the Brussels sprouts, and we both mime the building. Of course we do. do. You can tell they love what they do, as well as this dish. These are Brussels for people that don't like Brussels. He covers the fried sprouts with a Japanese style sauce, a Japanese silk mayo and green onion. Then it's all topped with shaved flakes of smoked tuna. And then the best part, bonito flake. Ta-da! So these are fried crispy wonton noodles that we layer on top. Another showstopper is this coconut cream Thai curry with chicken. The name Fairlane comes from the Ford Fairlane. After all, this spot along Beverly Road in Mount Lebanon used to be a service station. We wanted something yeah. American based. We always bill our food as new American. We think these flavors you can find anywhere in America. Most recently, it was Block 292, a restaurant and butcher shop. But now as the Fairlane, that butcher shop has become a bottle shop with an emphasis on locally made beer and wine. We're trying to create a nice little bottle shop where you can go in, have a drink if you'd like, get a six pack and, and be on your way. It's that kind of nice crunchy crust that you are looking for in a good diner burger, and we squish them. Let's get back to the food and wrap things up with their most requested item, the diner burger. Two patties cooked medium well with American cheese. A diner burger would never put anything like a perfect white cheddar or gruyere on a burger. Topped with Duke's mayo from South Carolina, house-made pickles, and placed on a toasted bun. Oh, look at this. Diner burger for you, David. Thank you, Graham. Absolutely. And we kind of thought that the diner burger was what people crave. You know, you wake up in the morning, you're like, I just have to have a burger today. I understand why this is a house favorite. There's only one thing wrong. Heather Abraham is nowhere to be found. Heather, you would love this. You would love this. So, so see, you were kind of there in spirit. I was I, thinking about you, my I, friend. I wish I really was we're, there because that burger gonna, was so We're going to go so get some good. diner burgers, oh yeah. Oh, my goodness. Um, and, and so the burger really is everything that people oh, are raving about. It was great, yeah. And Graham and Lauren say they want to present sort of a, a city restaurant, that kind of vibe mm -hmm. in the South Hills, and they say the diner burger will never disappear Ooh. from the menu because it is so popular. And you can look for the fair lane on a nice little stretch of Beverly Road that's filled with restaurants and shops in Mount Lebanon. It's a cute little and, area. Uh, yeah, and now that the weather is nice, they have out door seating there too so we could go out sit outside and have diner burgers so next time you are going to invite me yeah oh good to know Absolutely. i Yikes. look forward to that date david all right <laughs>